This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector abstract circle icon using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the view is set to custom and then we'll zoom in. We'll go to view, zoom, zoom in at one to one. And by the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So uh, the next thing I want to do is open up the Align to Distribute menu. We'll want last selected chosen from that drop down, And we'll go to the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So let's come over to the Circles and Ellipses tool. Hold Control and Shift and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And um, I'm going to make sure that's black, and I'm going to bring the opacity down in half. And I'm going to convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path. And I'll come over to the, um, the Select tool, and I want to turn on this lock icon right here and change the width of this, where it says W, whatever number that is, just erase that and type in 400, 400 and hit Enter. And that'll make that a 400 by 400 pixel circle. And I want to duplicate that by right-clicking that and going to Duplicate and I'll turn that red and I want to make this one 250 so I'll change the width of this to 250 and hit enter and I'll hold shift and click on the black circle and I'll center it on the vertical axis and align the bottom edges just like that so what I want to do now is um, I want to click on this another time to get the rotation handles and I want to hold control and rotate this clockwise eight steps so I'll hold control and I'll rotate it clockwise one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and once we've done that, we can click off of that to deselect everything. Click on the red circle, duplicate that by hitting Control D, turn that blue, then hold Shift and click on the black circle, center it on the vertical axis, and align the bottom edges. And then we want to click on this, actually let's click and drag over the whole thing, click on it again to get the rotation handles and hold control and we're going to rotate it again eight steps so one two three four five six seven eight and it should be sitting upright like that when you're done these two the blue and the red circle if you did it right they should be sitting on the same horizontal plane and you can click off of that to deselect everything and we could take this blue circle right here we could duplicate that by hitting control D turn that green hold shift click on the black circle center it on the vertical axis and align the bottom edges and then we can click off of that to deselect everything so what I want to do now is take this black circle in the background and I want to duplicate that by hitting control D and then just hold control and just move this off to the left we're gonna come work with that in just a second and what I'll do now is I'll click and drag over all of those circles right there and I'll go to path exclusion and it's gonna leave us with this shape right here and I want to take that shape and turn that red and then raise that to the top and then hold shift and click on this black circle and center it on the, uh, the vertical and horizontal axis and then click off of it to deselect everything. So we'll take the red shape right here, this shape, and we'll duplicate that by hitting control D and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the black circle and go to path difference and then path break apart and then I'm going to hold shift and click on each of these black objects to deselect them so that the only thing we have left selected are these little fragments going around the outside of the circle. We'll take those fragments and we'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And then we want to take the red object, click on that and go to path, break apart. And again, I'm going to hold shift and click on all of the red objects to deselect them. And once I have them all deselected, okay, there's no fragments left there, but uh, that's what we need to create this object right here. We now have all of the pieces. We just need to connect them together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this black piece in the middle. I'll just take that, press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. Then I'll click on this red object up top over here. Then I'll hold shift and click on this black object to the lower left. And then while still holding shift, I'll click on this red object just to the lower right of it. And I'll unify them all together by going to path, union. And then I'll just turn that blue to show you how it's taking shape. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll click this red object. I'll hold shift, click this black object, 
still holding shift, click this red object, unify them together by going to path, union, and I'll just turn that green. Then I'll click that red object, I'll hold shift, click the black, and then click the red. Unify them all together by going to path, union. And I'll just turn that red just to show you. So we now have the shape of what we need. We just need to color it in now. So uh, I just colored it in with gradients. I'm going to click and drag over all of it and bring the opacity all the way up. Click off of it to deselect. And I'll take this red one, because it's already red, and I'll give this a linear gradient. And I'll press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. And I'll click on this stop over here to the right. And I'll bring the opacity all the way up. And under the HSL tab, I'll just take this L row and slide this to the left to make this darker. Like that. And for the next one, I'll make that uh, gray. So I'll click this one. I'll make that a dark shade of gray, maybe 70%. Give that a linear gradient. And I'll grab this stop and put this out here. Take this stop, put this over here. Hold control so it goes straight down vertically. I'll click on that stop, bring the opacity up, and under the L row, slide that to the right to make that a little lighter. You know what, I have that backwards. The lighter stop has to go in here, and the darker stop needs to go up there, like that. And then finally, we got this one, which I made blue. We just come down here to the color picker, make that a shade of blue like this, the 00CCFF. That's a good shade to use. We'll go to the linear gradient tool uh, button. Click on uh, that stop, bring the opacity all the way up, and click on this stop over here. And I'm going to take this H row and slide this to the right just to make that darker make that a, a deeper shade of blue, and then I'll take the L row and slide that to the left to make it darker. And I'll grab the uh, select tool, click and drag over all of them, and um, group them together, and you can scale them up or scale them down, and that's pretty much it. We've created our ab abstract circle icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thank you for watching.